So the financial statements, chapter one, part three, uh, and in this uh, particular pa uh, part, what we focus on accounting equations. So as we mentioned, and we saw uh, in the balance sheet that the balance sheet is a equation like asset on one side and the two other items like liabilities and uh, shareholders equities on the other side. So liabilities plus shareholders equity must be equal to the uh, asset. And this is what we call it as an accounting equation and explains the relationship among the financial statements. Uh, th these are the two things we're going to talk uh, today. Uh, accounting equation, uh, economics resources, which are assets, uh, is equal to claim to economic resources. So this is the balance that we want to create, like economic resources must be equal to the claim to the economic resources. Now, liability is an external claim of the uh, on the economic resources and owner's equity is the internal uh, claim on the uh, economic resources. So assets, economic resources, uh, product, uh, future benefit, definitely the assets are there to do a business and liabilities, outsider claims and debt pay to other creditors and owner's equity is insider claim and represents ownership by the stockholders. So this way you can see we represented assets on the one side and liabilities plus owner's equity on the other side. So if we look at the assets, uh, the cash, merchandising, inventory, property, plant and equipment, and on the liability side, we have an account payable, income tax payable and long term debt. So for a corporation, shareholders equity is divided into two main categories. One, oh, sorry, uh, one is a, a contributed capital and the other one is a retained earning. A retained earnings. So assets is equal to liabilities plus shareholders and liabilities plus contributed capital, which we call as a common stock plus retained earning is uh, we can expand. Basically what we are doing, we are expanding this equation. So in place of shareholders equity, what we are writing here, uh, what we are writing here, uh, contributed uh, capital, which is a common stock plus retained earning. So we can uh, expand this part, uh, converting the shareholders equity into two main categories. So assets is equal to liabilities plus shareholders equity and shareholders equity we divide it into two uh, main uh, areas contributed capital which is common stock and the retained earning what we are generated uh, from the previous year uh, profits uh, account amount stockholders have invested and common stock is the way and amount earned and kept by the businesses uh, transactions affecting retained earning so on a retained earning is definitely affecting uh, through income uh, so Income is affecting uh, by these ways, like revenue, how much revenue we are generating. If we are generating more and more revenues, so income is going to increase. Expenses, that is going to be the uh, negative. If expenses are increasing, income is reducing. If expenses are decreasing, income is increasing. So resources outflow from the cost of doing business. And the third, that is going to reduce our retained earning. It's not going to affect our profit uh, or net income, but the the thing that is going to affect is retained earnings. So if we earn uh, $100 and we distribute out of 150, so retained earning uh, is 50. Uh, but if we distribute as a dividend 80, then retained earning is 20. So by this way, uh, the dividend of uh, uh, distribution of asset to stockholders are not. So we can say revenue in, uh, is playing important role in the retained earning. If the revenue increase, uh, retained earning is going to increase. If the expenses decrease, then retained earning is going to increase. If dividend decrease, then the, uh, the retained earning is going to increase. So these are the relationship. So revenue minus expenses equal to income and in effect, if expenses exceeds revenue, then there's a net loss. So the components of a retained earning we see as revenue minus uh, expenses, that's a net income or net loss. So whatever the balance the retained earning have previously, then net income or net loss is going to change it and then also going to change by the dividend and this is our ending retained earning. So these are the graphic presentation. of. Now what is the relationship? And you see when whenever we mention these uh, statement of financials or financial statements, uh, we follow the sequence. And what is the sequence? Income statement, statement of retained earning, balance sheet, and then 
the statement of cash flow. So why it is important that we have to maintain this sequence or this uh, order? The reason is that in order to prepare statement of retained earning, we need to know what is the net income. How we can know net income? Until unless we prepare the income statement. So for that reason, we prepare the income statement first. Now, in order to report the shareholders equity in balance sheet, what we need, we need to report the ending or the closing uh, retained earning. Now, how do we get it if we are not preparing the statement of retained earning? So for that reason, we need to prepare a statement of retained earning before the balance sheet. And in the statement of cash flow, the ending balance should be tally the cash uh, from the cash of the uh, balance sheet. So that's the reason that we have to prepare the balance sheet first and then we have to prepare the statement of cash flow. Now, what I explained here, we can uh, represent here as well. So it is an income statement. We represent income, net income, which we have to report it in our statement of retained earning. And for that reason, we can get it uh, the numbers. Now, for a statement of retained earning, whatever the balance we get it, we have to report it in the balance sheet so for that reason we have to prepare the statement of retained earning before the balance sheet because balance sheet cannot be prepared if the retained earning uh, ending balance is not known and then this from the state uh, cash uh, from the balance sheet what we have to report it uh, in the statement of cash flow so that is also going to be tallied so this is the way that there is a relationship between these statements and how the information or the uh, the the data flow from one statement to another and for that reason uh, thus there is a there must be a uh, there must be a uh, sequence or there must be an order we have to follow so what is an order uh, the order is uh, the order is uh, income statement the second one is a statement of retained earning and the third one is a balance sheet and the fourth one is a, a statement of cash flow so or a cash flow statement. So that this is the sequence that we have to follow. So this is the things that we want to cover in this chapter. I hope you enjoyed it and you learn it from this. Uh, so if you learn, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.